Hey guys, I'm Hop with TFB TV. A while back I reviewed the Taurus TX-22 and theorized it would make an excellent suppressor host. At the time I didn't have a rimfire suppressor to test it with, but thanks to the high speed magic of the e-file form 1, I do now. So was I right? Of course I was. I took the TX-22 to the range with a suppressor to test a bunch of different subsonic 22LR loads, including the new CCI Quiet Semi-Auto. The original version of CCI Quiet is an extremely low velocity round, clocking in at an advertised 700 feet per second and weighing 40 grains. Compared to a typical 40 grain load of 22 LR that might be 1100 or so feet per second, CCI Quiet does not have the energy to cycle most semi-auto firearms. The upshot is that CCI Quiet is not only hearing safe, but comfortable to shoot from a rifle with no hearing protection. It may have been intended as a back porch rabbit cartridge, but I like to use it as a lunch break cartridge, so you can keep plinking while you're eating a Slim Jim with your ear pro off. That's where the new CCI Quiet Semi-Auto comes in. It shoots a heavier 45 grain bullet at a slightly faster 835 feet per second, and as a result does cycle a semi-automatic action, but is still hearing safe. These are not to be confused with CCI's Suppressor 22 ammunition, which is a 45 grain hollow point instead of a round nose, and is billed at 970 feet per second. CCI Suppressor does in fact work very well with suppressors, but CCI isn't the only company in the game here. The appeal of CCI Quiet Semi-Auto to me is the possibility of doubling up on your quietness by shooting it through a suppressed 22. I ran the original Quiet and the newer Quiet Semi-Auto through the TX-22 and my old Marlin 795 rifle, both unsuppressed. Out of the pistol length barrel, even the original CCI Quiet is uncomfortably loud. Out of a revolver, it was painful. Jesus. Quiet Semi-Auto cycled both guns just fine, so you can definitely run it without a suppressor if you want. Before we start talking about volume levels, I have to offer a disclaimer. Without specialized equipment that I don't have access to, you can only talk about decibel reduction subjectively. For shits and gigs, I downloaded a decibelometer app on my phone and shot a sequence of ammo through the suppressed DX-22 to see what it recorded. The data was completely useless, of course. The app recorded subsonic ammunition as louder than supersonic ammunition, and it was just all over the place. Subjectively, I can tell you that without hearing protection, supersonic ammunition was still a bit uncomfortable through the suppressor. I also thought that CCI Quiet Semi-Auto was subtly but noticeably quieter than the other subsonic loads I shot, to include Winchester M22 subsonic, Winchester 42 Max subsonic, and subsonic loads from Normatac, Fiocchi, Aguila, and Remington. I think you can tell by watching the video, but that might just be wishful thinking. So what I have is a magazine loaded with a stack of different rounds in sequence. First three are going to be federal high velocity bulk. First one is just to eliminate the first round pop, so we're not really concerned with how quiet that one is. It's sort of a discard round. So first round discard, followed by two rounds federal high velocity, followed by two rounds Normatac subsonic, followed by two rounds Winchester 42 Max subsonic, followed by two rounds CCI quiet semi-auto. So it should be quieter and quieter as we go along in theory. In any case, feel free to trust me on this. CCI Quiet Semi-Auto is both quiet and it works in a semi-auto. Truth in advertising. However, shooting suppressed is dirty business. After several range trips running the suppressor and mag dumping cheap rimfire bulk ammo, the TX-22 filled up with carbon. On the last trip I did for this video, it started choking on the CCI Quiet Semi-Auto. It still trucked along with supersonic and other subsonic loads, which leads me to the conclusion that CCI Quiet Semi-Auto is pretty carefully tuned to balance reliability with noise performance. That's a trade-off I will happily take. I don't normally let my guns get this dirty to begin with, and believe me, the TX-22 had so much carbon in it it looked like I tried to chamber a charcoal briquette. The real question is, should you use CCI Suppressor or CCI Quiet Semi-Auto in your Suppressed 22? Since both are quiet enough to be comfortable without Ear Pro when running suppressed, I'd prefer the higher velocity suppressor load. Quiet Semi-Auto. CCI Suppressor. Just a little more punch and a little more reliability. 
The CCI Quiet Semi-Auto is a damn impressive load and makes a lot of sense out of an unsuppressed rifle. But especially if we're talking suppressed, and especially from a handgun, I'm happy to stick to normal subsonic loads. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to TFB TV if you want to see more videos like this. You can support us by joining our Patreon, link in the video description. James puts together a lot of awesome giveaways for TFB patrons and it's what makes these videos possible these days. You can also support us by supporting our sponsors. Check out Ventura Munitions if you need some special suppressor specific subsonic 22 of your own. We appreciate their support and you will probably appreciate their ammo selection. If you've watched all the videos and still want more, you can join the TFB Discord. There's a link below, but we have to hide it at the very end of the video description or else we'll get too many normies. There are a lot of subject matter experts on the Discord, not just about guns, but also about anime, apparently. If you want to know more about the extended TX-22 mags featured in this video, I may do a video about tricked out Tactical 22 pistols. Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. It'll be a nice change of pace from people comparing me to celebrities from the 1990s. See you next time.